Let's take a look at how you can use GitHub Actions to publish your container images up to Docker Hub. All right, so I have the code from a previous project pulled up and essentially all this does is build a simple Docker image that is going to echo hello world out to the to the terminal. So not a whole lot going on here. Uh, the Docker file simply copies the entry point.sh file into the container image and then changes the executable permissions and then runs the runs the bash uh, script. So then if you remember from our previous video, the way that we had built and published the container image out was Docker build uh, a dot and then add a T to tag this as Brian MMO to forward slash hello Docker Docker hub latest like this. So we did this, we, we ran this command, which builds the image, and then we pushed it out. Um, I went ahead and entered, it's not like it's 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 a big deal, but that built with the Docker push and the name of the tag typically gets it up. So, okay, finish a little Docker push, Brian MMO2, hello, Docker hub, latest hit enter. So this should go ahead and push our image up to Docker hub. As you can see, it's it's pretty much gonna, gonna finish that pretty quickly there since it's already there and we haven't changed anything with it. Now let's go ahead and build a GitHub action that's gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna create a new folder here named .github forward slash workflows. Let's create a new file in here called publish hyphen image dot yaml. And for those of you who don't know what GitHub Actions is, is it's an automation platform built in a GitHub where you can do some cool things like whenever you push new code to a repository, you can set up commands to do stuff, which in this case, what we're going to do is publish an image to Docker Hub. So I will give the I'll give this workflow a name of publish image to Docker Hub. And we're going to say on colon, which is going to set up our triggers. And instead of doing an on push, I'm going to do on a workflow dispatch, which all this really means is I have to go into GitHub to the actions panel and then actually click a button to to run this. OK, so OK, so now I'm going to specify our jobs. And we're only going to have one job in here, which is going to be publish underscore image. It's going to run runs on. You can set to Ubuntu latest. That's the runner that we're going to be using. So it's going to be built and run on an, on a uh, Linux Ubuntu machine. And then as far as our steps go, we're going to have three steps in here. Our first name is going to be checkout. First name, checkout. And then we're going to specify the uses or the action we're going to build. The action we're going to use is actions forward slash checkout at V3. So the ver third version of the checkout action. And then for the next two steps, we're just going to run inline commands. So the first name is going to be build and that's going to run uh, Docker build period T Brian MMO two forward slash hello Docker hub. So used to typing in hello world, I automatically type a W after uh, hello. Um, so and then again, just as a recap, the reason we're putting Brian MMO2 in the front of the container image is because that is my username in Docker Hub. You would want to replace this command or this this prefix to the image tag with whatever your username in Docker Hub is, since that's how the Docker CLI figures out how to um, how to publish the image and what repository goes into in Docker Hub. So then the last step is going to be name publish. And then oh, autocorrect kind of took over there for me. And then that also is going to be a run an inline command. And that is going to be Docker push Brian MMO2 forward slash hello Docker hub latest like that. OK, I saved this and this is essentially our workflow. So again, we have to click the button to trigger this. But the three things it's going to do is it's going to check out our code. It's going to build the container image and then it's going to push it into Docker hub. And let's go ahead and save this. I've already added a remote here. So if I say, um, so if I push this up to, yeah, let's see, let's, let's just do it. Uh, git add period to add all of our commands into and stage them for a commit, git commit. And we will say initial commit. And then we will git push. And then typically we just push, but I have actually a separate um, a separate remote that I'm using. So I'm going to do git push GitHub, which is going to push up to that GitHub repository that I've created for us to to demonstrate this. And now let's head over there and click the button and see what happens. OK, so I'm in that repository and I'm going to go ahead and select actions. And click enable actions on this repository. And then the left hand side, we could see publish image to Docker Hub is one of the actions we have available to this. So I'm going to click that. 
and then click run workflow and then it defaults to the main branch since that's the only branch that's available we will click run workflow okay and there is our job that is running there our workflow if i click on this you can see here is the publish image job i'll click on that to drop into that as well and we'll kind of watch this process follow through so here our build is going. It looks like it's going through the process of building that. And then, oh, okay. It went a little faster than I was expecting. Let's expand this build again. So we can see the command was run here of Docker build and then the tag that we specified here. And this is all the standard output that we've seen on our computer when we do this manually. Now the publish step failed. And if I expand this out, it looks like push refers to repository of, you know, docker.io, brianmo 2 dello docker hub. This is the same thing we've seen so far on the computer. However, down here on line nine, it says denied request access to the request access to the resources denied. And this basically means that the command failed because we're not logged in to Docker on the GitHub action runner, which is kind of to be expected because typically to log in a Docker, you have to do Docker login. Now, the thing to be aware of, and the reason we didn't do Docker login is you never want to store credentials inside your repository. So there's actually way a way around this where we can use a personal access token from Docker Hub in order to publish these images and use GitHub action secrets to keep it outside of the code itself. So let's hop over to Docker Hub and create a personal access token and follow this whole process. Okay, so I'm logged into Docker Hub and this is the default landing page you'll see when you log in. I'm gonna select my username in the upper right hand corner, drop this down and go to account settings. Now on the left hand side, I'll select security from the list here. And then I don't currently have any access tokens created, so I'm gonna click new access token here. Now we'll give our access token a name, so we'll say GitHub actions token. And you can change the permissions available here. I'm actually just gonna select read and write since we don't want our token to be able to destroy or delete anything. And then I'll go ahead and click generate. Now you'll be shown this access token only one time. As soon as this dialog is closed, uh, the, the, actual, the token will not be able to be retrieved going forward. And that's just really a security best practice. So I'm gonna copy this off and save it to the side. And we're gonna use this in just a little bit here. So I'm back over in GitHub, and now let's add that Docker Hub token to a secret that we can use within our actions. So I'm gonna go to settings, and then on the left hand side, I'm gonna scroll down to secret, I'm gonna look down to secrets and variables and select actions. We're gonna create a new repository secret and name this docker underscore hub underscore token. And let's paste the value of the token inside of this secret box here and click add secret. Okay, now that the token is added, let's open VS Code up again and modify our workflow in order to take into consideration the docker hub token. So I'm back inside of VS Code and I have our actions workflow set up here. Now, um, as you know, I mentioned earlier, Docker login is the command you use in order to log into your uh, Docker Hub repository or Docker Hub account rather. So we're gonna use that, but we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna say Docker login, I'm gonna do hyphen U and then I'm gonna pass in my username, which is BrianMMO2. And then for a password, instead of specifying my password for, for Docker Hub, we're gonna use that personal access token instead. And we don't wanna paste it directly in here because if we paste it and then save it and push it up to the repository, our token will be accessible by anybody who has access to the repository, which is which you definitely don't want in a public repo, but you don't want in any repo generally. So I'm gonna instead use a dollar sign and double curly brackets and type in secrets dot docker underscore hub underscore token. And that is the name of the secret that we specified. So by by doing this, by using the dollar sign and the double curly brackets, GitHub Actions is going to replace the value inside of here with something. And the something we're telling it to replace with is our, our secrets, our action secrets, and then the name of the secret, which is Docker Hub Token. So I'm going to save this. We're going to go ahead and get add, get add period to add all the files, git commit, M and we'll specify update, updated workflow. Good enough. And then git push GitHub, just like we did earlier to push our changes up into GitHub. Okay, now that this is done, let's go ahead and hop over to GitHub and try and run that workflow one more time. Okay, back in GitHub, I'm gonna select the actions tab one more time, select our action from the left-hand side or our workflow. And let's go ahead and run it again. Okay, here is our, here's our workflow being run. Let's click into it, click into the job itself and let's follow it along. Okay, we're building the image again. 
Okay, and we looks like the publish step actually succeeded now. So our job is set with a check mark and let's head over to Docker Hub and see that it was indeed published. Okay, now in the landing page of Docker Hub, we can see here's our image name, our hello hyphen world hyphen Docker Hub, and it would hello hello hyphen Docker Hub, and it was put last pushed just a few seconds ago, and that was right after we finished watching the workflow from GitHub Actions complete. If you made it to the end of the video, I truly appreciate it, and hopefully it helped you understand how you can publish images using GitHub Actions. If you've ever worked with GitHub Actions, whether it's with Docker or for any other use case, do me a favor and let me know in the comments below and let me know what you think about the platform. If you're interested in this video and enjoyed it, you might also like my other video where I show you how to publish AW, publish images into AWS ECR, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.